explore a simple network. The addressing table R1 with two interfaces. This is R1. R3 with two interfaces. R3. Firewall with three interfaces. Firewall. Dubnet associate server. One interface with IP address and a public IP address. This this server. Example server on internet. This PCI and PCB is still not placed here and. Uh, as a developer, it is important that you are familiar with the network devices and how they communicate with each other. The simple network in this packet racer activity is pre-configured to give you an opportunity to explore the devices. In this activity, the two web servers are referred to as DevNet Associate Server and Example Server. In the topology, they are named with the URL Triple W that associate net account that PKA and triple W example dot com. Okay, this is the DevNet associate server and the example server. Add PCs to the topology. Place the PCs and connect them to the network. The device names are case sensitive. If you use a different case or different name, your score will be impacted. Drag a PC to the work area and place it near to S2. Okay, so a PC in close to S2, close to this switch. Rename the PC is PCA, PC-A, case sensitive. Drag a PC to the work area and place it near to S3. Rename the PC as PCB. Okay. Another PC close to S3 and rename the PC PC B. Okay, connect a copper straight through cable from the fast Ethernet 0 port on PCA to any available fast Ethernet port on S2. Okay, select copper straight through. Fast Ethernet on the PC and any available port, for example, Fast Ethernet 10. The same way from PCB Fast Ethernet 0 to an available port on switch S3, for example, Fast Ethernet 10. Configure IP for addressing for the PCs. Click PCI desktop IP configuration. Okay, here on PCA, click desktop IP configuration. Assign the following IP before addressing information. This information, remember this uh, PC, PCA is placed on this network. 192.168.1024. So this should be the IP address of NetMask and the default gateway. 192.168.1024. Two fifty five, two fifty five, two fifty five zero, and the full gateway one eight two one sixty eight one one. Repeat this for PCB. We use the following IP for addressing information. Okay, this information. And remember, PCB is placed on this network one seventy two sixteen three zero twenty four. So configure with the correct IP address one seventy two sixteen three two. 255, 255, 255.0, and 172.16.31. Very good. Test connectivity across the network. Click on PCB, command prompt, PCB. Close this and command prompt. Attempt to ping R3. Type ping 172.16.31, your default gateway. 
okay for pcb the default gateway is this interface on r3 interface gigabit 001 001 you can verify ip config this is the default gateway so ping to the default gateway 122.16.31 I'm sorry, 3, 1, enter. Success. In example server at uh, 64, 100, 0, 10 address. Ping to the, this server. Ping 64, 100, 0, 10. One ping, success, and you may have issues initially as the network converges. Repeat the ping if necessary. Okay, repeat. Okay, and all success. Ping the DevNet associate server. Okay, from PCB ping to this server. Ping. This is the IP address Okay, repeat. Success and uh, repeat again. Okay, all success. Create a web page and be with. You will create a simple web page on DevNet Associate server and then verify that PCB can access the web page. Create a web page, click the server. Okay, click on this server. Services. Under services. HTTP new file. Okay, HTTP. HTTP on, HTTPS on. New file down here. New file name the file index.html index.html packet tracer understands basic hypertext markup language HTML. Place the following HTML code in the box below the file name. If you know HTML, feel free to customize the code. Okay, so copy this. And paste. Okay, this is a message. DevNet associate. Size uh, plus two. Color blue. And alignment center. Okay, and HTML, and you can also add uh, the following to close HTML slash HTML. HR for align, and welcome to the Netacad DevNet Associate course. Save, 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 yes. View the web page, click go to PCB and open a web browser. We go to PCB, close command prompt, open the web browser and use the IP address of the DevNet Associate web server. HTTP column slash slash, okay, 
that was the protocol and the IP 209.165.200.227. Then go. Okay, the message DevNet Associate Blue Sender, the line, and welcome to the Netacad DevNet Associate course. Now modify the firewall access list. You will examine the access list on the firewall device, add the access list, and test that the firewall now denies ping access. Examine the access list on the firewall device. Go to firewall CLI. Okay, go to the firewall. Okay, uh, this is the firewall and CLI command line interface. And press enter a couple of times to get a prompt. Okay, it is ready. This is the prompt. Uh, firewall is the host name. Type enable and press enter. Enable. And there is no password. Press enter again. Okay, enter. No password. Okay, you are on privilege exit mode and show run and press enter. Show run to view the configuration of the device. And press enter. Okay. Press spacebar to scroll through the running configuration. Space, space, space. And now this is the following access list. This. Okay, is this. This is the access list. The name of the access list is outside dash DMZ. Host 180.168.23 is the internal IPv4 address of the DevNet Associate server in the DMC. Okay, remember the private IP address of the server is 182.168.23 and the public IP address of the server is 209.165.200.227. Okay, so the private address of the DevNet Associate server is 182.168.23. Remember that. And it's this IP address. This IP address. The first access list statement allows any device to access the server using Internet Control Message Protocol ICMP, which is the protocol used by the ping command. Okay, the access list, the name of the access list is an extended access list permit ICMP protocol from any source to the host the IP address of the server. The second access list statement allows any device to access the server using hypertext transfer protocol HTTP, which is the protocol used by web browsers. The access list, the name of the access list is an extended access list and permit TCP protocol from any source to the IP address of the server using the port 80 or port triple W for HTTP. Modify and test the effectiveness of the access list. Typically, you do not want the outside world to be able to ping your internal servers. Therefore, you should remove the access list statement that explicitly allows ping access. Enter the global configuration mode using a configure terminal command. Confi configure terminal. Enter. Now you are on global configuration mode, as you can see. Remove the access list statement that permits ping with the following command and press enter. Use no before the complete command. Okay, and no space, no space and copy the first, the ICMP 
policy okay, okay the copy this the ICMP line and place okay no uh, no access list outside DMC extended the ICMP okay and enter okay you can verify exit and show running config okay show running config enter and space space on permit only the web the triple w http from the command prompt on pcb ping the server the devnet associate server outside ip for others the ping should now fail okay go to pcb close the web browser open the command prompt and repeat the following command ping 209 165 200 227 Again, okay, uh, from the web browser of BCB. Access the server web page 209.165.200.227. Okay, the same IP. Close command prompt, open the web browser, HTTP column slash slash, and place the, place the IP address 209.165.200.227. Go. Success. And you should still see the web page as you did not remove the access list statement that allows HTTP access. Okay. Thank you very much.